Benue State in the Middle Belt region of Nigeria has witnessed series of unrest and attacks on some of its communities and villages by Fulani herdsmen. These attacks have claimed hundreds of lives and rendered many homeless after the destruction of their properties. In 2015, the Samuel Otom administration disarmed most people in the state through its amnesty program. Rather than peace engulfing the state, the attacks continued even ruthlessly. Many things have been happening because of the threatening of flying herdsmen, and not, many of them cannot be able to come back home. And they write as I'm speaking with you, some of them are still at the highland shooting at our people because some of our men are fishermen too and they can yeah, be able to be going to the sea to... and looking for fish Thank you all and their flanny men did not allow them. Agatu, Buruku, Ohimini, Logo, Guma and seven other local government areas in Bene State have all had their fair share of herdsmen encroachment on farmlands. As always the case, women, especially pregnant ones and children, are the worst hit in the violence. The coalition of civil society organizations in the state recently occupied the Benue State Government House in Makardi to demand for the protection of lives and property from the state and the federal government while condemning the continued killing of farmers by the herdsmen. The renewed attacks on communities in Benue State has given us a lot of cause for concern. I mentioned earlier that pregnant women are being attacked, women are being raped, and after that they are still being killed. So we are having a higher number of women dying this time, and children are not spared, they are being killed also. We're, that is why we stood up to say that if the government and the people responsible do not speak up, after a while we are not going to have a Benue community. Because when you kill the mothers and you kill the children, then you are killing the future of any community. In the local government of Buruku, in the local government of Guma, in the local government of Zaka, you know better. The people, the, the, the herdsmen have invaded our homes. They will come, take over your land, collect your food, butcher you, kill you, rip, rape you. So we are coming to seek that justice be done to our people. We are coming to say, stop this killing. This is becoming too much. Sooner or later, in 2019, you will not find any other person to vote for you. Because if this continues, it is chaos that you will see to vote for you. Outside the state and in the federal capital territory, some Benue indigents pinched and worried about the plight of their kinsmen staged a protest at the National Assembly demanding an end to the attacks which may have affected the food supplies of the once food basket of Nigeria as farmlands and products are at the mercy of herdsmen. For so long, the chief people of Benue and the Benue Valley have been subjugated to perpetual oppression, to economic strangulation, to dubious exploitation, and to the deliberate, calculated, strategic decimation of the souls, lives and properties 
of our kinsmen. We feel like it is time to speak very loud and clear and draw the attention of the government and the international community to the deliberate act of pogrom that is going on in Benue State. This year, they came to my father's house. They killed my relative and they killed everybody. That is why I'm in pain. I'm in pain because my voice has not been heard. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. And if the federal government cannot do something about it, let them tell us so that we know that there's nobody to fight for us. For you to go to the farm, you cannot go to the farm. Even if you go to the farm, you, you hang yourself on, on top of the tree. The judiciary the security forces. The Bene stakeholders meeting is convened by Governor Samuel Otom, including security chiefs. Individually. Um, first, last week, after so many uh, very distinguished sons and daughters. The agreement is to arrest all armed Fulani herdsmen and Bene youth with illegal weapons to end the attacks and counter-attacks between the Fulani herdsmen and the Benue communities. Very specially thanked. I want that one day it will be reported to me that some of those armed herdsmen have been arrested with their arms. That is what I want done. If we do that, the entire state will hear you and appreciate you. Let them be arrested. But let me repeat again that for all armed herdsmen in Benue State should be chased out of Benue State by the security agents. Like the senator said, when the Federation, this is Nigeria, it belongs to all of us. We're not sending Fulani out of the state, but we are sending armed and violent herdsmen out of our state. That one is a duty that we have to do. But those who are law abiding, I can assure them that I will give them protection. We cannot tolerate criminals, but the most important thing is the fact that there must be a distinction between those who are killers and those who are rear cattle rearers. We are not launching war against the Fulanis. What we are talking about is the menace of Fulanis who carry guns. And we believe these are not true Fulanis. A Fulani man who carries a gun and goes about killing his own rampage is a fake Fulani.